Let's now take a look at chemical equilibrium. First, to take a look at equilibrium, we need to take a quick look at kinetics. So kinetics is essentially how fast a reaction goes, the rate of a reaction. So it tells us how fast a reaction goes either forward or backward. So remember we have reactants and we have products. So the reactants, they react together and they form the product. But some reactions, many reactions actually, these products can then react and go backwards and reform the reactants they originally came from. When the rate or the speed of the reaction going forward and backward is equal, then we can say that a reaction has reached equilibrium. So the rate going forward and the rate going backward become equal at equilibrium. One important thing to remember about equilibrium is sometimes people think about the reaction as having stopped at equilibrium, but that's not the case. What's really happening is that it's constantly reacting. So we constantly are forming products and the products are constantly forming reactants. So that's double arrow that you'll see. So sometimes it's written this way and sometimes it's written this way. This tells you that the reaction is still constantly going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth at the same time. This is critically important to reactions, particularly in the human body, because there's a huge number of reactions in the human body that rely on equilibrium. And we'll take a look more deeply at those when we look at acids and bases, because acids and bases are an application of the equilibrium concepts we'll, we'll be looking at here.